we're starting our morning off reflecting on all the sounds that we heard last night. But sadly, there's nothing here for us to have a look at, so I'm not sure how much reflecting I'll be doing today. My name is Taylor McCurdy, and on camera with me is Odie, and we are driving around Juma Private Game Reserve here in the Savi Sand in South Africa. And we are very excited because we've heard lions roaring. I've picked up on a male leopard track moving towards the dam we were just looking at. And I think I might have seen a wild dog footprint, but I'm not 100% sure. So if anybody saw a wild dog briefly on the dam cam at any point this morning, please let me know. Um, it was kind of in the mix around lots of hyena tracks that there was one that just looked very, very symmetrical which is unlike, of course, a hyena track. It might have been a young, a young hyena, however. So we just thought, well, why not start our morning and just have a little listen and look around and see what excitement is around the dam. We have managed to find a leopard. Can you believe it? It is going to snow here in the Asabi sand. Doesn't look like a particularly, who are you? Who are you? You can see. The ears don't look particularly neat. Looks like an older leopard. Is it Mulwati? I don't know. Actually, I can't remember if I've ever seen Mulwati before. No, it's not him because his face is very round. I don't know why I said that. Is it in Zemba? But it, look at his ears, though. I have no idea who this is, so I'm just going to wait till I'm told. Which, um... Which, uh, individual it is. June's not happy about something because I can hear elephants and buffalo not too far away from here and I'm just trying to I have my earpiece in so it's very difficult to determine where sound is coming from so I'm just trying to figure all that out we changed our position a little bit we found another gap and I think this one is actually much better we're almost eye level with them that's just because we we're much lower to the ground now and this is I, I think though actually I want I don't know if Steve is keen but I think the buffalo are on their way towards Treehouse Dam, somewhere around there, if uh, if he is keen, because I know he was trying to follow the buffalo tracks this morning. I actually saw them last night uh, crossing over Voyotilla Axis when I came back from seeing Tristan at uh, Jack and Sabi House while he was guiding some guests. Went to pop in, have dinner, and say hello. Little cub, what are you doing? Hiding. Come back out. Obviously, it's perfectly hidden behind that bush, but as we've seen previously, quite active and hopefully will clamber right on top of mom. And, and then we should get another view again. So come out here. Come out and jump on your mother again. We want to see that. Yes. Good little hyena cub. Elephants is what we have. We actually had an enormous herd of elephants. And they were just drinking at Treehouse Dam, so I suspect it was the ones that we could hear while we were with June. But most of the herd has already moved off. Hi, girl. Yeah? You want to come and drink here? Would you like me to move for you, or are you going to be happy to drink? I'm obviously having a quick conversation with the elephants because why not? Um, she's just come right to the edge of the vehicle. They've been sipping water all the way along. She's kind of uncertain. Like, did you want to spray yourself with water? What did you really want to do? She's not sure either. But the, it is the last of the group, which could explain why she's maybe a bit on the uneasy side. Perhaps she's like, oh, I don't like to be left alone. Come back. And off they go. Good morning, good morning everybody. What an exciting morning. My very first lion sighting this morning here at Pridelands and he's just about to cross the road. Look at this. <laughs> and there he goes. Look at that. How lucky are we? Mm, my goodness, my hair is like standing up right now and my adrenaline levels are, s are through the roof. 
So yeah, everybody at MC, if I'm sort of peaking too high here yeah, because of the excitement, please let me know. But yo, this is great. Now, just to give you a bit of information, we had some buffalo herd, or we had a buffalo herd in the camp last night, and they were moving through the tents, and then the lion started to roar. Unfortunately, I never heard that because I was fast asleep. I don't know how I slept through that. But um, yeah, luckily the lions didn't move too far from our area, and we found them very, very early this morning. And he's on a mission at the moment. Now we finally found the Amakala spots. It's only taken us about an hour. <laughs> but to be fair, we have been stopping to appreciate the sunrise and moonset along the way. And they have moved. Yay. Not far, but they've moved, which is exciting. And it looks like they're still on the move. They're just taking very frequent breaks to rest their humongous bellies. The amount that these three cheetahs hunt honestly blows my mind. Look at that belly. It's like a beach ball swinging around. <laughs> I don't know what they ate. We haven't seen any signs of a carcass. So whatever it is, they finished it in one night and now it's time to carry on. Unreal. Now, of course, in true amigo fashion they are cutting through the bush and they're going towards the next road over now, as i'm sure you know we do not off-road at amakala so i will follow as best as i can to the point where they cut off the road and then we're going to have to go all the way back all the way around and back to the other road if they are headed that way if they're just going to lie down in the bush great oh, there's a cheetah in a tree this is so good they love this tree, they really, really do. They scent mark on this tree every time they get the chance. And the way the cheetahs do that, it's very typical cheetah behavior. Oh, don't go. They poop in it. <laughs> Here comes the other one. The cheetah catwalk. <sighs> I love this tree. you can see they're paying a lot of attention with their noses at the moment sniffing away trying to work out if anyone else has scent marked here and probably sniffing where they have scent marked many 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 times every time they're in the street they use it as their bathroom break as a sign to all the other cheetahs there you go there it comes there he's urinating almost on the other one's face that's not ideal and then often they defecate as well. And this is their way of saying to every other male cheetah around, guys, this is our spot. But much like these hugged the bears starting to lie down and relax for the day, it is time for us to say goodbye. Unfortunately, it's a very sad time. But it has been an absolute pleasure. I hope that you stay safe and enjoy all of your favorite things during the day today. Have those conversations, spread the word. And we'll see you all back here for another entertaining afternoon live in the South African bush for our sunset safari. Bye, everyone. <laughs>